Hello Libra, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you click on the title when it intrigues you. We're going to get started right off the bat. And that will be what we got for the animal for Oracle for you was the wolf. Now the wolf decidedly is loyal, uh, a loyal creature, um, loyal to the, the pack. But it can also be a lone wolf and very significant in this particular card that this wolf is expanding his horizons, um, looking out beyond the borders of the tribe, seeking out different things to learn. And I think this is you, Libra. Now, what came up for someone else, there's an energy around you someone very angry they don't want you to expand your horizons they want you to stay put right where you are um but you're starting to expand and grow uh, this is anger trying to put up blockages uh, maybe some control issues here in the fairy oracles what came up was for you there is this beautiful clear communication given in love, given with patience, but being articulate in that communication. It's like saying, all right, to help you understand, this is how I'm going to proceed um, and do it in a loving, loving manner. Uh, this person uh, doesn't want you to expand, doesn't want you to, they're afraid of losing you, Libra they're very fearful of losing you there's some insecurities here and they're trying to push up the river this communication that you give with them will help ease their ease their concerns um that you know there is no worry here i'm doing what i'm led to do and it doesn't mean i love you any less or or i disrespect you or i don't want nothing to do with you it, it, there's just some beautiful patient loving communication coming from you to help this person understand that you know take it easy sit down relax uh, stop trying to push up the river okay so let's get on with your crowning the tarot card of the reading the crowning energy is the uh, six of pentacles which is about equal give and take you could be having a sum of money coming in that is allowing you to go uh, on an adventure or a trip that helps to expand your horizons something that maybe you always wanted to do um, or maybe this worry is about this person is worried about money if it's a partner relationship and um, you're reassuring them that you know there's there's equal give and take here or someone's sneaking off <laughs> shadowy business shady stuff going on could be that they're afraid to tell you something or you're afraid to tell them something. There's been arguing and uh, it's like just sneaking off in the middle of the night. You left two swords behind. You still think about them. Um, so if you if you broke up, you, you might be coming back, but we'll see. Strength. You're showing great strength, great courage, and you're walking your talk. Not surprising for a Libra. They want what's right. Usually do what's right king of cups um you could be dealing with a water sign you could be dealing with a leo uh the king of cups scorpio keeps their emotions in check but they're deeply deeply feeling deeply compassionate and you're probably drawn to this person there's a deep love here queen of swords you could have been taking on this energy to cut some things out of your life um probably that lone wolf energy and that uh what was his name arvel the parrot well this is a beautiful creature this is about communication thoughts and cutting out um what needs to go doesn't necessarily mean person it could be people it could be a uh, moving it could be a job 
Eight of Pentacles, you've been working hard on yourself, on your money, on your legacy. You're showing a great maturity about it and mastering whatever craft it is that you're taking on. Moving to calmer waters. So I think you're trying to move to calmer waters with this person who is angry with you. And you will be successful if you take on that energy of being clear in your communication and patient and gentle and loving. Prince of Cups, there is an offer of love coming in. Could be a Pisces, uh, but it could be any water sign. We're, we've got Scorpio and Pisces here now. Um, this person sees the beauty in you. And this is the end of the cycle, right at the heart of your reading. You are, see this Queen of Swords has cut out something to end a cycle. So that you can move on to something new. Six of Wands. There's victory here. So if there's an offer of love coming in, there's victory in it. Ten of Wands. Laying down your burdens. Good for you, Libra. Ace of Wands. You're about to embark on a brand new adventure. A brand new beginning. One that you can be passionate about. Maybe it's a new project. A new trip. Something you're about to take on you can be passionate about perhaps a new relationship perhaps a renewal of the current relationship after you reassure them princess of cups this is someone who is practicing their abilities at um this person is psychic this person is healing this person has been through a lot of hurt and right now in rehab but she's gone from a page to a princess, learning her skills again. It's like, it is like rehab, learning her skills again, so that once she becomes the queen of cups, uh, she is she is now the healer. But right now, she looks a little surprised with herself. She was like, did I do that? That fish is much bigger than when I was a page, so it must be getting better. So if it is a water sign you're dealing with that's angry with you, um, they're going through some kind of healing process. And again, it's not necessarily a water sign. This could be, you know, your mate if you're a, a, in a couple relationship. This could be your mate that is going through a process right now of healing something in their past. Something from their past. We're going to clarify those cards, Libra. And just a reminder that the extended readings, um, you can have all of them for $10. And it, it's a membership to the website. It's a way for uh, us to connect. You can ask a question under one of the extended readings. Like if this one resonates for you, ask a question underneath the reading and I'll pull you a card to clarify. Why so cheap, you ask? Well, because that's the way I fly. And to me, it's just easier. It helps me to develop a database that is Tower Showed Up. A database that is more personal or intimate with my members or subscribers what do we have in store for libra anyway i've been doing it that way for a few months and it's working out very nicely it helps the, the flow of things um, at least in my life where i can actually take a break all right you could be dealing with a taurus and we have um, the miser it actually turned up in reverse, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I read both ways anyway. Um, you may be saving your money to do something. Or you may be holding on to something, an energy that you know you need to release and you need the strength to do it. But you have gained that strength to do that. The Hierophant is going to clarify the Six of Pentacles. So you want a relationship that is equal give and take, fair, 
just and uh, faithful. Could be dealing with a Taurus. King of Cups is going to be clarified with the Fool. So this person uh, wants to take that leap of faith with you. The Queen of Swords gets the King of Cups again. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, air sign, water sign. I need more. Maybe you're dealing with two people. Well, not necessarily. Moving very slowly. You've been working hard. Working hard. Moving slowly to your goals. To your legacy. Moving to calmer waters. You want justice. Something happened. You want justice. You want the scales of justice to be balanced. And they will be. In your favor. Karmic justice. If it has nothing to do with the courts. We have the eight of pentacles again. You working hard. Someone sees you working hard. Or you see someone working hard. That you want to make an offer of love to. Or they want to make an offer of love to you. They want to work hard with you at building a legacy. And you have, both of you, a lot to offer. It's not like they're coming at you with a couple of pentacles and saying, look what I got. They've got eight. Seven of swords. This sneaky energy is about to end. This shady energy. So if someone's been shady around you, that's going to be over either because you've cut them out for this king of cups. And if it's a work relationship, it's you're going to get to the root of it. And that cycle, either move to a different department or a different job or a different something. But it's going to end. This, this is over. No more shady business. No more sneaking around. It's coming out in the open and it's over. Six of Wands, you have an opportunity here. And this is one is coming from the spirit. This one is, is genuine. But you're too fixed on these empty cups. You don't even see it. Maybe it's that fire sign. It's so, or maybe not necessarily a fire sign, but the fire dragon who's so angry at you. Could be that uh, water sign. Or again, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a water sign. It's the energy. We have you laying down your burdens. Whatever you had to defend of yourself, meddlers in your life, gossipers, backbiting, you're laying that down. You're telling them, look, you know what? I've been carrying your stuff around for a while. Now it's time for you to carry your own. Laying down those burdens. This passionate new beginning you're going into. Wow. Abundance. Two aces. This is abundance. This brand new beginning is going to bring you uh, good fortune. Good fortune. This looks like a stable relationship coming in. So if you're a couple, your your relationship is about to become more stable through a rough period. If uh, you're single, you're going to find the person of your dreams. And if it's a third person involved, uh, no more playing around. You know what you want. And look, you want to make this princess a queen. Have your ten of cups or king. Um, or they see you as the princess. This is a happy home, emotional fulfillment, joy, abundance, tranquility, peace, lovely energy. I'm going to end it there and take it to the extended. And I'm going to find out more about what's going on here. See what the cards show us. I hope you join us over there, Libra. And please hit the like if any of that resonated for you. Whether you join me or not, that helps me tremendously. God bless you, and we'll see you again soon, I hope. Bye for now.